On the phone with us is Jared Isaacman, who I'm excited to talk to because he's the guy behind this mission to space for regular folks. So, hey, Jared, how are you? I'm doing well, Bobby. Thank you. Hey, really appreciate you coming on. We have so many questions. First of all, first question, how awesome is it to be a billionaire? <laughs> you know, I, I, uh, I haven't taken much time to really think about that over the last year. There's a, a lot going on these days. Man, it's all I mm-hmm. think about. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I think about all that, too. But that's all I would think about. That's crazy. Okay, so the reason we're having you on really is because you're doing something fantastic with your money. Tell me about this Inspiration4 with St. Jude and exactly what's happening here. Yeah, sure. So uh, I'm super excited. This is the first all-civilian mission to space. So what does that mean? This is the first time people are going to outer space and weren't sent there by you know a superpower like the U.S. or Russia or China. This is everyday people going and, you know, exploring among the stars and, and recognizing that it's a first, you know, a first step in this really cool direction that we all want to live in. Like, we've tried to be really thoughtful about who's going to go and represent us on this mission, you know, inspiring individuals as part of the crew in their own right. And then we have to tie it to solving some bigger problems here on Earth. And that's why St. Jude Children's Research Hospital will be the beneficiary of the, of the biggest fundraising effort in their 59-year history. We're going to raise over $200 million. Okay, so and that's where we come in because I do want to ask questions about you know, how we get on the ship, meaning we in this room. But people can actually like, like donate to be in a raffle, basically, and then you go to space. Is that right? Yeah, it's a, it's a big fundraising effort. It's all on the inspiration4.com mission website. You go there, you make a donation to Shift 4, which is an incredibly worthwhile and important cause. And at the end of the month, you know, through a random selection process, you could get fitted for a spacesuit. you got to be kidding me. Crazy. Now, you're going to go to space, right? That's right. Yeah, I'm leading the mission, and I'm bringing three awesome individuals along with me. Are you not scared? No, not, not at all. Uh, so I, I've done, I've flown air shows, you know, eight, in fighter jets, 18 inches apart from other people. Uh, I, I definitely know what, you know, significant risk is. This isn't. This is SpaceX. These guys build rockets that land on ships in the middle of the ocean, certified by NASA. I'm super confident, not nervous at all. Okay, so we are all going to donate, and we do a lot with St. Jude on this show, but we've decided to all donate in one person's name, and if they get drawn, they go, but... Nobody wants to go because we all think we're going to die. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> uh, I know that you know people think about the rockets that you know turn into big fireworks shows. What people don't remember is like there's literally thousands that go up and do exactly what they're supposed to do. Just just take a look at some of the SpaceX videos. Like they've got some you know awesome footage of their rockets going to space, putting people, putting payload. I mean, this is the company that's reinvigorated the world's interest in space exploration that brought NASA astronauts back to space from U.S. soil in more than 10 years. Like, they're, they're really good at this. No one's no one can die. I know you, you have two kids of your own, and, and one of the arguments here on the show from the guys were, I have kids. I don't want to go up in this. Mm-hmm. But if you're feeling that way and it's that safe, don't you recommend that they feel that way too? Well, look, everybody's got their thing, right? I'm not saying everybody, uh, you know, wants to go out and, you know, journey in space, you know, like Star Trek or Star Wars. We all got our our passions in life. But I do say that if this was ever something you were thinking about doing, um, you know, this is probably the safest way to go about it. And look, you you can still make a great donation to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. You could still try and win the entrepreneur seat. And if you somehow win and you don't want to go, well, auction it off for charities. You know, raise even more money for St. Jude. That's fine, too. Okay, well, one of us, we're going to do a little drawing, and <laughs> we're all going to donate in one person's name and hopefully send one of our guys here to space. I do hey, feel a little better cool. hearing him talk about how confident he is. Yeah, he's like the smartest guy we ever talked to on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go. Everybody, let's go. Let's ra- Who wants to go? Uh, oh, nobody. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that later. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How do you, t- is there a key for an airplane? Do you go in and turn it and dun, 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 like when you're flying your jets is, or is it just a button? You know, I got to tell you, I, I've probably flown like 50 different types of jets and only one had a key and it was to get into the hatch. Once you get up into the cockpit, you're just hitting buttons. Dang. Is it true that pilots are served at different meals in case one gets sick? <laughs> you know, most of, uh, most of the planes I fly, uh, they're, they're like single-seat or two-seat fighters, so there's no real opportunity for anyone to, to serve me a meal up there, so I've never had that problem. Mm, no, fl- no flight attendants mm. going, uh, <laughs> <laughs> would you like the chicken? Okay, okay, I have a couple other questions here. Do you look at price tags when you go in the store? <laughs> uh, you, you know, um, 
I, I'd say I probably do. Um, I actually do, um, like probably a lot of people, I spend a lot of time on Amazon. If I'm going out, it's probably to like a, a restaurant. Um, since, you know, my company, Ship4, is pretty big into restaurants, we try and uh, support the, uh, the industry. What can we do? What's a tip from a rich guy and for us how to be rich? Well, I'd say that um, you gotta you gotta follow your passion. Yeah. I, I think some of like the the richest people in the world right now never set out to be rich. They 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 went down a path that was interesting to them, where they thought they could make a difference. They were like super passionate about it, and good things came from it. So I just encourage people to follow their interests and their passions and be the best at it. So basically, Bitcoin is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be I'd be careful on any of this speculative <laughs> stuff that's out there, but I know it's I know it's fun to play. Okay, so uh, Jared <laughs> Isaacman is on. Listen, he's doing great things. It's for St. Jude, and you can uh, you can go to space by donating, and you don't have to donate a million dollars. You donate ten bucks, you get in ten times. You donate. So that's what it's all about. It's it's people giving, and even if you don't win, your money goes to a great cause. Can you give me the website again? People can go to and donate. Yeah, for sure. Check out our mission website, which is inspiration4.com. Yeah, inspiration, the number four.com. You'll have until February 28th to get those entries in, so you have time. Hey, Jared, thank you for talking with us. You are a hero in many, many ways. Just the latest way is what you're doing for St. Jude, and uh, one day it'd be really great to meet you. Have a good day, my friend. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Take care. There he is, Jared Isaacman, the guy worth $2 billion. He's a billionaire he's uh an american he's from new jersey 37 years old he's married two daughters tech entrepreneur founded his company in, company in 1999 in his parents basement he's a civilian pilot uh he's worth an estimated two billion dollars wow. with a b <laughs> with a b yeah <laughs> just in case you didn't hear Woo. that okay there you go